Hello family. All right. Hopefully you're having a great and wonderful Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Hi, my name is Kenneth. Uh, celebrity trainer, Coach Johnson. For those who don't know, Joe, those who join for the first time. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to go into some detail about uh, prickly pear. A prickly pear smoothie. I'm actually going to make a smoothie. I have my blender here. I got my aloe vera here. Oops. My aloe vera leaf here. Right? This is what it looks like. So I got that, I got some sea moss here in the pot, right, already made up, and I got some prickly pear over here, two different types as a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to explain to that, uh, explain the differences to you in detail, I got a mango, nice fresh mango, and I got some grapes over here, right, so I'm about to do it up right here in the kitchen and show you how to make, how I make my sea moss uh, prickly pear aloe vera gel smoothie and I'm going to tell you about the benefits of it and show you the differences between uh, several types of prickly pear and tell you why it's great to have it every single day especially now in the world we're living in so I want to thank everyone for, who's joining right now hello Mary hey Mary how you doing hello Daphne how you doing uh, you know share this video with your friends with your family Gonna be pretty informational. Won't be that long, but I'm gonna just show you how I do make my smoothies and talk to you a little bit about the prickly pear. Prickly pear. Now, let me start with this. Um, prickly pear, for those who don't know anything about prickly pear, comes in different variations. It's also called cactus fruit or tuna in Spanish, right? And it's that little bulb, that little thing that grows on top of the cactus leaf. The cactus leaf like this. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to talk about this. Let me show you this right quick. The cactus leaf, right? That's the cactus leaf. So it grows on top, and I'm holding it on the end, right? So if you want to, if you ever grab a cactus leaf, you want to make sure you hold it on the very, very end, so you don't, won't get pricked with those stickles, right? So it grows on top of the end of the cactus leaf like this, right? And they come in different colors. Some are like purple, some are white, some are yellowish looking. Uh, it doesn't matter what color it comes in or what it looks like. They're very nutritious, very healthy, very beneficial. And you definitely want to get as much as you possibly can. Here in Florida, it grows wild, right? So Florida's like, pretty much like a tropical, <laughs> a tropical state. But it grows on top of the plant. This is the cactus, no fall cactus. I'm going to talk about this a little bit also. But this is very, very beneficial, very, very powerful. Thank you very much, Mary. So let me start right now by showing you the differences between the prickly pear. Now this is the red prickly pear. Even though it doesn't look red now, it's, it's still green, but if, when I slice this thing open, you see how crimson red it looks inside. Very, very juicy. Has solid seeds. You, the seeds are too tough for you to chew. If you try to chew the seeds, you'll you crack your tooth open, break a tooth off. But it's greenish right now. It's how, this is how it looks. It's green. It's kind of turning red a little bit right there. You can see that, right? But it's that. So when it's fully turned, it looks like this. When it fully turns, it's a reddish color, crimson color like that, right? So that's the red prickly pear, and they, and they grow pretty big too, right? This is a pretty big size prickly pear. These are pretty big, right? Uh, organic, um, no fertilizer needed, and that's what the red prickly pear looks like. I got several here with me, right? That's when it, full red is green, turning kind of turning. This this one hasn't even started turning yet, but. It looks this way in the end. It turns a reddish color. Now, I also have the white or the yellow prickly pear. This is what it looks like. And you can see the differences in the size. Right? A little bit different. This is the red. This is the white. A little bit different. But still very nutritious. However, the main, one of the major differences between the red prickly pear, right, this one, this one, red prickly pear, and the white prickly pear, uh, aside from the color, is the antioxidant content. See, this is very high in an antioxidant called anthocyanin, which is, uh, you can also find in like red grapes, like the grapes I have over here. Right? Red grapes. You can find it in beets. Very high in that antioxidant. And uh, it's very good for strengthening your immune system. Now... Again, doesn't matter which one you use, they're both very beneficial. And here's, here's a fact about prickly pear, also called the nopal cactus. 
right? Prickly pear has been studied by scientists, by the United States government, by the scientists. And what they discovered is that prickly pear, this little thing right here, right? We're not even talking about the leaf yet, the, the cactus leaf. But this little thing right here that you can get from a store in Florida for like, or well, depending on where you go, you can get like six or seven of these for like a dollar and 67 cents, right? But they're hard to come by. Uh, you can only find them in like Mexican stores, some Asian stores, like might sell it. Um, but they are very, very powerful. And sometimes you, they're hard to find because uh, they can sometimes be out of season. So we, we travel for miles to get this stuff. Um, but one of the most powerful benefits of the prickly pear, backed by science, is that it kills cancer. It kills cancer. It's been proven by science to kill uh, uh, bladder cancer, cervical cancer, and ovarian cancer. And slows the growth of other cancers. This little thing right here. It grows wild. You can find it in Texas. You can find it in, uh, in Florida. You can find it in some, some other states as well. Southern states. And it grows wild. Right? So you, you probably have some growing in your backyard. So if you do, I suggest you go out there and start to uh, harvest it. And bring it inside and benefit from... The health benefits and the medicinal benefits. Now, the seeds are very, very hard. I'm going to show you in a second. They're very, very hard. You can't chew the seeds up. Now, this, again, is the yellow or the white prickly pear, right? Again, it looks a little bit different. I'm going to slice it open. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. This is the white prickly pear. This is what it looks like. This little thing right here kills cancer. So, I'm going to chop. I'm going to cut this open right here. And look, it's white. It's very white inside. The camera's kind of blurring out a little bit. But I want to make sure you see that. It's white. It's got seeds. Hopefully it adjusts. It got, it's got seeds in it. Right? Let me take one of these seeds out. And these little seeds are like rocks. I mean, literally like concrete. You can't chew this stuff up. Seeds are so very tiny. I don't know if you can see that. But they're so tiny. Those, that's one of the seeds. That seed will, will crack your teeth. Do not, do not try to chew the seeds up. It will crack your teeth, literally. That tiny thing right there is like brick. Like concrete. But it has, it's packed with seeds. And this is the white prickly pear. Right, so uh, the best way to now you can you can eat this raw, you can wash this off, right? But initially, in the beginning, prickly pear has little fine needles on it, just like the cactus leaf. It has needles on it, so you can, you just can't go out there and grab it like that barehanded. Oh, oh you're in trouble. You're gonna have a handful of splinters, needles all, all in your hands. So once you cleanse the needles away, right? You can uh, there's a way you can go about doing that. Take all the needles off. Um, you can actually wash this off and eat it raw. They're very sweet, very taste very good, juicy as heck, but you cannot chew up the seeds. The seeds are like brick. They will break your teeth and not try to chew it. So it's very beneficial, very sweet. And the way you want to do this, I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, is put it in a blender. Get a powerful blender, right? Make a smoothie out of it. And then it'll, it'll crush the rocks, crush the rocks, crush the seeds down quite a bit. If you have a very powerful blender, it'll crush it up. You can just drink it that way, swallow it. Uh, very, very healthy, very nutritious. But this is the white or the yellow prickly pear. That's what it looks like when it cuts open, when I slice open inside, packed with seeds. Now, I'm going to put this here. And now I'm going to go to the red prickly pear, or the purple prickly pear. I'm going to cut this one open. Oh my God. Major difference already. See what I'm talking about. This is bleeding red. See the difference? Major difference in the red prickly pear compared to the white prickly pear. I'm going to, I'm going to show both at the same time. To see what I'm talking about. That's the red. This is the white. This is the red prickly pear. Major difference. And that crimson color means that it's packed with antioxidants. Very high in antioxidants. Very, very powerful. This stuff, both of these, both of these plants, they're the same family. They kill cancer. Right? 
They also lower they, they, they lower lower high cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, this lowers cholesterol levels. Right? It also fights hangovers. Keeps you from getting drunk. <laughs> you know, if you go if you want to go out and have a night uh, have a night of drinking, eat one of these or even the cactus beforehand and you will not get drunk. It offsets uh, hangovers. Also, it's high uh, antiviral, anti-inflammatory. Um, what does antiviral mean? That means it keeps viruses from duplicating inside your body. Now, you it won't stop you from getting the virus, like, for example, COVID or uh, the cold virus or the flu virus, whatever this case is. But when you have it or if you get it, it keeps the virus from duplicating itself inside your body. So guess what? If it can't duplicate inside your body, it cannot make you sick. It cannot kill you. It cannot put you in the hospital. Right? It won't affect your breathing. Because a virus can only affect you when it duplicates. It replicates itself inside your body. This is antiviral. It keeps the viruses from replicating. This has also been proven. Let me tell you how powerful this stuff is. Right? This also been proven to also... Keep HIV viruses from replicating. They keep the flu virus from replicating. They keep the herpes virus from replicating. We've had people who have COVID-19, right? Uh, teenagers, uh, husbands and wives, families. This is what I suggest they have. And the people who have taken this say, wow, the energy the energy levels have increased. Because for those who, for those of you who know, when a person has the COVID virus, uh, it, it saps their energy. It drains their energy, right? They feel weak. They can hardly breathe. People who have used the cactus, aloe vera, prickly pear, sea moss gel says, wow, the energy levels have increased and it seems like uh, the symptoms have flown, uh, have, have stopped very quickly because it's been proven by science that cactus, right? Prickly pear cactus has been proven to stop the duplication of both DNA viruses and RNA viruses. And COVID is an RNA virus. Herpes, HIV, the flu, you name it, it's been backed by science. But the world doesn't know about this. But right now, you're about to find out. You're finding out right now. And again, these are both the same. This is the red prickly pear or the purple prickly pear. This is the white prickly pear. Right? Both the same. Except this is more high in the antioxidant called anthocyanin. Now, uh... Very sweet. This is very sweet. Very sweet. You can eat these things raw. This is sweeter than this one. Right? Juicy, sweet, has a lot of seeds. You can't see the seeds in this one, but it's, it's got just as many seeds or more than this one does. You can see the seeds in here, but you can't see the seeds because of the color. It's so crimson red. Uh, but again, to fully benefit from this, you want to put it into a smoothie. Right? You want to put it into a smoothie. That's going to help you benefit fully from the usage of the prickly pear. Either one of these. So, what I'm going to do is right now. I have to. Um, plus, I have the aloe vera. Let me talk about the aloe vera a little bit. This is the aloe vera leaf, right? This is the leaf aloe vera, and the entire plant itself has some ha have some health benefits. But uh, the one that I focus on is the gel. And I'm going to cut this open right quick. I'm going to cut the end off right here. All right, there we go. Oh, got some prickly pear juice on that. But that's the gel, right? So that's the gel right there. So the gel, you can see it. But that's what I focus on, that part right there. Now, the latex or the skin has some benefit also. But I don't suggest you eat the latex or the skin. That's what makes it taste very, very bitter. The plant, aloe vera plant, the skin itself is very, very bitter. And, but it does have some benefit. It's good for constipation issues, right? If you're constipated, take a little, little, little piece. I mean a small piece, smaller than your fingernail, pinky fingernail, and put it into a smoothie, right? And then drink it. And uh, it will help alleviate constipation. It doesn't seem to the bathroom. But you don't want to take a lot of this. And if you have... Uh, uh, liver issues, if, if you have kidney disease, things, uh, things of that nature, or liver disease, you don't want to take it. You make sure not to take digest the skin or the latex of the aloe vera plant because it can also uh, cause more damage to your liver or to your kidneys. Um, but the gel is perfectly safe. The gel is fine. That's what we focus on. So the gel, let me 
Okay, one more cut here. Cut that open. And show you. Put this back over here. Show you the gel. Alright, so I'm going to peel this right now. That's the gel. We focus on that part right there, that glistening part right there. Right? So that's the part right there you want to get to. Now, aloe vera itself, for many people who already use aloe vera gel, maybe maybe buy the store-bought stuff like the, the lotions, the oils, things of that nature. You know, it's very good for like sunburns, for rashes, for all things of that nature. But aloe vera gel is also good for protecting collagen, right? You take the gel, rub it on your face, and use it as a mask, facial mask. It's good for rejuvenating your skin cells and protecting your collagen. So let me just slice, let me kind of fillet this right now. I'm going to fillet this. Kind of cut the skin off. Right? And let's just see what it looks like in this bare nature. Alright, so let me just cut the rest of this off right quick. I should have used a different knife. This knife is not the actual knife I used to do this, but anyway, here we are. Alright, so this is the gel. Look at that. See that gooey substance? That is health to the body right there. Very, very gooey. That's the aloe vera gel. That's the part we focus on. That's, the, that's what heals the body. That's what gives people fantastic results when they take it in the CMOS, in the CMOS gel form. That, that right there. Right? You can rub that on your skin, on your face. But you take it internally and it does powerful, powerful things to your body. Look at this. It's just all over. All right, so we put that into the sea moss concoction with the prickly pear, the cactus, right? And now we have the blue spirulina, which I'm going to talk about also. But this is what we look, this is what we focus on, the gel part of it, right? And it's very, very beneficial, very powerful. Now, aloe vera also protects the skin from skin cancer. So if you if you're uh, you know you're fair skinned and you're concerned about too much exposure to the sun, you rub this stuff on your skin and you take it internally and it protects your skin from the harmful rays, uh, the ultraviolet rays that comes from the sun that can cause skin cancer. Very very powerful. So this is some great stuff. I'm gonna use this in the smoothie also. I'm gonna matter of fact I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there already. But you can take this, rub it on your face. Right? Leave it enough for like 15 minutes as a facial mask. You know, go bypass all the creams in the stores. Bypass all those other oils, those, those combinations in the stores. Go right to the source. Get you the real deal, the aloe vera. Right? This is 100%. Uncut the real stuff and put it on your face. Put it on your skin. Right? Very, very powerful. Very effective. And it's organic. So I'm going to put this right in my blender. Look at that stuff. Just stick it to my finger, man. All gooey. Look at that. See? That's 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 what helps your body to heal. That gel like substance right there. Right? Very good, very nutritious, good stuff. So that's see, I'm gonna wash my hands off right quick. That is the aloe vera gel. And again, like I said, the leaf, the latex or the skin has benefits also, but you don't want to take too much of it. Right? When I first started dealing with aloe vera. And prickly pear, matter of fact, I did a video about three, four, actually about five, maybe six, seven years ago. And I was talking about these two plants here. The aloe vera gel and the prickly pear, the red, purple prickly pear. And that video did uh, had almost 30,000 views on it. Almost 30,000 views and almost 300 shares. People were very interested in the aloe vera and the prickly pear combination in a smoothie form. So I wasn't even... I wasn't even doing sea moss gel during that time. I was doing a lot of smoothies, and this is one of the things I was talking about, how powerful these two plants are by themselves. And now we got the sea moss gels, which is even more powerful. So, um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk to you a, bit, a little bit about the, let me grab my fork. Where's my fork? Oh, okay. I'm going to talk to you about this right here, <laughs> the cactus leaf. Now the cactus leaf is very powerful, uh, very good for people who have nerve issues like fibromyalgia, um, neuropathy, maybe had maybe maybe you was in a car crash, you had some damaged nerves, whatever the case is. 
This is good for chronic aches and pains. People have migraines. If you're a migraine sufferer, right? If you have lupus, right? You got inflammation in your pancreas, whatever the case is. This is very good for everything I just mentioned. Also, uh, let me just mention this right quick. Sea moss, which I'm going to talk to you in a few minutes. Sea moss and also prickly pear, right? Has also been studied by science for benefits for people who have Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It showed that it helped people, right, offset, deter, slow down the onset of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. This thing is powerful, backed by science, the prickly pear by itself, but also sea moss has also been studied for um, Parkinson's disease. It's, it's beneficial for people who have Parkinson's disease or any type of like neurodegenerative diseases which Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are the two uh, most popular so to speak uh, diseases that affect the mind affect, affect the, uh, the nervous system now this right here the cactus leaf again protects nerve cells so if you have for example the myelin sheath the myelin sheath is that thing of the body that protects your nerves from exposure when your nerves are exposed that causes constant chronic pain so you might have damage, you know, some type of damage somehow, maybe in an accident or some other uh, medical issue going on that caused the myelin sheath, which protects your nerves from exposure. Now you don't have that anymore. Now you're in constant pain day in and day out, and you're taking tons of medication just to live a normal pain-free life. And, and that's probably not working either. Well, the cactus naturally protects nerve cells, right? That's why we have people like Don, uh, a lady named Don. She has, well, she was, let me, let, me, let me restate that. She was suffering from migraines for almost 20 years of her life, doing all types of medication, right? Nothing much pretty work. 20 years of her life. She started taking the cactus, the prickly pear, and she had the white prickly pear, right? She had this one. Um, she was using the white prickly pear, the cactus, and the sea moss, and the aloe vera in a gel form, and she has been migraine free for almost six months now. Almost half a year. <laughs> not, not a single migraine in almost half a year. Where before she was suffering from migraines for almost 20 years of her life. This is all that worked. No medications worked for her. But now she takes it. Her mother takes it. And her husband takes it. As a matter of fact, I just shipped off, I just shipped off some for her mother. Uh, some to her mother... Today, as a matter of fact, but this right here, this is the cactus leaf, right? This is organic. It's very, very popular in Mexico. Mexico is the number one distributor of cactus. They're the number one distributors of cactus plant, right? They ship it all across the world. It comes from Mexico and organic. No pesticides, no herbicides, just regular water. It's totally organic. Right, and it's very, very powerful, and that's where we get ours from. So this is some great stuff, very beneficial for the body, very powerful, and it's simple, and it's packed with chlorophyll. See, anything that's green, this is green, right? This is green. It starts out green, but anything that's green uh, is very high in chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a natural cleansing agent. It naturally cleanses and detoxes your body. For example, if you got if you got stinky poop, so to speak, right? If your poop stinks. You go to the bathroom and, and people know you've been there. When you start taking chlorophyll, anything that's like greens, like collard greens or spinach or kale, anything that's dark, leafy greens, it cleanses and detoxes, deodorizes your, your intestines, your colon. So now you go to the bathroom, nobody even knows you've been there because you're cleaned out. But this is very powerful. Tons of benefits. Uh, kills cancer, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, uh, antibacterial, anti uh, the sea moss gel over here, this is antifungal, um, anti-everything, anti-diabetes, antioxidant across the board. That's why people are having so, so much phenomenal benefits from taking the cactus, aloe vera, prickly pear, sea moss gel. So right now, that's just a little bit of what I, what I want to share with you. So right now I'm going to show you how I make a smoothie. And by the way, talking about smoothie... In the link on this presentation, you'll see a website called www20top, uh, sorry, www20bestsmoothies.com. That's my website where I sell my smoothie book, 
there's 20 different smoothies and all that I made that I came up with over the years that has very very uh, good benefits for gaining if you want to gain lean muscle if you work out at home work out at the gym you want to get the book because in that book you got smoothies to help you bulk up but bulk up in a good way you don't put on a lot of fat right you put on some lean muscle if you want to drop weight drop it like it's hot there's smoothies in that book you definitely want to get the book there's smoothies in there to help you drop weight you can drop 15 to 30 pounds in 30 days without exercise taking my book buying my smoothie book 20 all together Normally they sold, normally I sold, I sold these smoothies for like $20 a pop, right? So one smoothie would be $20, two smoothies would be $40. Now you get 20 smoothies all in one book, my top 20 smoothies for $32. That's it. <laughs> and you download it right there. The minute you make payment, you download it to your website. I mean, download it to your email. Uh, you can you can print it up, print it up in, in a copy, but you have a list of all 20 smoothies there. And by the way, as a matter of fact, you can find the CMOS smoothies, right? I got two CMOS smoothies inside that book. One is the raw CMOS, like this, in its, in its raw form, right? I show you how to make a, a raw CMOS smoothie, packed with 92 minerals, packed with nine vitamins, right? It's high in iodine, um, magnesium, calcium, sulfur, everything that's good for building healthy, strong bones. CMOS is very good also. Oh, let me talk about CMOS. Let me, well, I talked about that in a minute. Let me, let me stick to the book for a second. But it's very high in a lot of different nutrients your body needs. And you find that inside the book. And then I have a CMOS gel. i show you how to use the CMOS gel and make a smoothie also. So there's a lot of good information in that book. Uh, even hops. Hops and barley. Barley hops, right? i show you how to, use a, how to make a non-alcoholic beer, right? Beer without alcohol smoothie in that book. Hops and barley are very beneficial for the body. They increase your energy levels. They take away chronic aches and pains. They kill toothaches. Uh, they relax you. And it's filling also. It keeps you full for like when you combine it in a smoothie form for four to five hours. So it's used as a, as a meal replacement. Lots of benefits. So these are my best smoothies. That's why I'm promoting this right now. For those of you who like smoothies, maybe you want to get into smoothies. Maybe you're starting out going as a vegan. But how do I start? I'm interested in going plant-based. I want to become vegan. How do I start? The easiest way to start is by doing smoothies. That's the easiest way. When I first, became, uh, when God first turned me to vegan, I started with smoothies. I was doing four smoothies a day. <laughs> That's all I was doing. Four smoothies a day. Breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, however, around the clock. And then I started doing three smoothies a day. And then two smoothies a day. And now I do at least one smoothie a day sometimes. Sometimes, some days. Some days it's just raw fruit, period, across the board. But you start simple. You keep it simple. And you learn as you go. Right? Don't complicate it. Don't over it. Well, I don't know what to choose from. I know how to make this meal. How to make this meal. When you overcomplicate something, right? Complexity is the enemy of execution. I'm going to say that one more time. I want you to remember this. Complexity is the enemy of execution. If something's too complex, you ain't going to do it. If something's too complex, you're not going to stick with it. So keep it simple. Start off with a smoothie for breakfast, right? And then have another smoothie for dinner. Or have a smoothie for breakfast and a smoothie before you go to bed. But that's how you start your transitioning over to a vegan diet. Keep it simple. The rest will come. So now, and get the book. All that's inside the book. How to do a sea moss gel smoothie, how to do a raw sea moss smoothie, how to, how to do a, a non-alcoholic hops and beer smoothie, uh, how to do a, a weight gain, muscle gain smoothie, how to do a weight loss smoothie, how to just do, have a nice relaxing smoothie by the beach, right, by the pool, whatever the case is. All that's inside the book. These are my 20 best smoothies that I use with my training clients. When I, when I train people, um, uh, all my training clients... These are the smoothies I put them on, and they dropped 42 pounds, dropped 30 pounds, right? Got off of, got off of pressure, blood pressure medications, got off, of, got off of all diabetes medication. These are the smoothies I put them on. So right now, you get the whole 20 uh, smoothies for $32, $32. That's it. Download it. You got it right there. So right now, we're getting to the good part. Now I'm going to make the smoothie, right? So right now, as again I said, I already have my aloe vera in here. I already put my, for those who didn't, I already got my aloe vera. There's the aloe, the gel. See all that gel, that rich gel? That's the aloe vera. I'm going to put that in there. And I already cut up 
a prickly pear. Right? That's the prickly pear again. For those who just joining me, the prickly pear is very good. It's a, it, it, I mean, it's pretty much... They've studied this thing numerous times for the benefits of uh, you know, how it kills cancer, hangovers, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, um, good for obesity, helps, helps with weight loss, lowers high cholesterol, um, headaches, uh, skin issues, psoriasis, migraines, constipation, weight loss, you name it across the board. This little thing right here, just this by itself. Right? That's the prickly pear. And again, that's the red prickly pear. This is the white prickly pear. So for those people right now who just ordered the cactus, aloe vera, prickly pear, sea moss gel, yours is going to look kind of reddish. <laughs> and the reason why it looks red because originally when I was first making the sea moss gel, I was using the white one. But I was looking for the red. The red was very hard to find. The white one was easier to find. It was a lot more numerous. Uh, uh, I had a higher supply of it. So I used the white prickly pear in the cactus aloe vera sea moss gel and so when I add the cactus to it right it gave it that green look it looks green just like the cactus itself but now when I start using the red prickly pear it won't look green anymore it's gonna look red right or slight uh, or a dull looking color because the red overpowers the green of the cactus that's how powerful this stuff is so don't be alarmed hey Kenneth what is this stuff I got it looks different. It's the same thing, except now you have a better type of cactus, aloe vera, prickly pear, sea moss gel. This is better than this. So, uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up. If it looks different when you get it, it's because I'm using this one, which is better than this one. However, they are both good, right? But this is more powerful as far antioxidant-wise than this one. And it tastes sweeter also. But anyway, so now I'm going to use the red one. And I'm going to add this into the blender right and now I'm going to take the sea moss now this sea moss again for those who don't know anything about sea moss then there's a lot of people don't haven't heard of sea moss don't even know what sea moss is sea moss is a seaweed it grows in the ocean right now sea moss is oftentimes confused with Irish moss Irish moss and sea moss are two totally different things sea moss right sea moss grows mainly in the warmer waters the warmer like Atlantic waters uh, Irish moss grows in the colder part of the Atlantic like up near Ireland the northern countries right so Irish moss also uh, it looks different from this sea moss looks more like sticky like a string type of thing Irish moss which is also known as chondrus crispus is a red plant it's red and it looks like a fan right it's, it's like the, the, the leaves on it, so to speak, is like a fan, fan type. It looks like a fan, but this is sea moss. This is sea moss that comes from St. Lucia, right? It's wild crafted. Sea moss comes from St. Lucia and um, very, very beneficial for a lot of different things. It pulls radiation out of the body. If a person has gone through chemotherapy, right, or they're having radiation treatments, radiation left unchecked tends to linger inside your body for a very long period of time in your tissues, in your cells. It can cause a lot of issues. Uh, it, can, it can damage the stomach, the, the, excuse me, it can damage the lining in your stomach. So now you got bowel issues, you got bathroom issues, right? You got bloating issues. Um, it can disrupt your entire body because radiation is not supposed to be in the body in the first place. So when you take sea moss, sea moss actually pulls the radiation out of the body, right? So that's one of the benefits of using sea moss. It also, um, Sea moss is also good for psoriasis, for skin issues, uh, for migraines, for constipation. Pretty much whatever affects the body, right? So we're talking about several different plants that pretty much have a lot of the same characteristic as far, characteristics as far as being healthy and beneficial for your entire body, no matter what the case is. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to have a single element to use this stuff. Matter of fact, if you, I suggest you use it anyway because you don't want to get sick. But this is like taking a powerful, powerful, super multivitamin, right, mineral all at once. Because sea moss, again, has 92 minerals. Your body needs 102 minerals just to stay healthy, stay alive. When you start lacking minerals, right, that's when chronic aches and pains start to creep in. That's when migraines start to creep in. That's when constipation starts to creep in. That's when uh, autoimmune, autoimmune diseases really kick up and start taking over. That's when things in your body just start breaking down because your body is lacking minerals. You can be popping vitamins all day long, right? 
you can pop vitamins all day long, it ain't gonna do too much for you because it's the minerals that allow the vitamins you take in the first place to work. So you want to make sure you're getting a, a very good healthy dose of minerals that your body needs because your bones, right? Your bones are made from minerals. They're just pure mineral. <laughs> That's it. Your bones are pure minerals, right? Calcium, phosphorus, sulfur, just pure minerals. Magnesium, all that stuff is inside your bones. This has it all. Gives you strong, healthy bones. Gives you strong, healthy muscles. Help you reduce your weight if you want to lose weight. Help you gain lean muscle if you work out. Very, very powerful. Good for the skin. You can also take this and rub it in your face because it's very, it's jelly also, right? It's got a bunch of gel in it. You can rub it in your face, use it as a mask. Uh, you can turn this as a soap. We have sea moss gel, soap, have all types of stuff. Very, very healthy. Moisturizes the skin. Matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, you can take sea moss, right? The gel, right? The gel part, uh, once, once it gels up, you can use it on your scalp and use it to wash your hair. It nourishes your hair, nourishes your scalp from the minerals and the nutrients inside the sea moss. Very good for that. I have a lady right now, that's the, she's going to start using it for her hair and for her skin. And she's going to give me her before photos and after photos. So sea moss has a lot of benefits, a lot of health benefits. Also, let me, let me say this also, ladies. This is for the ladies only. Ladies only. But if you, and we're all adults here, so I'm going to keep it real. If you have issues with sex, right? Uh, dryness or things of that nature, like uh, painful intercourse. Sea moss, the gel, the gel form of sea moss is also used as a natural lubricant. You can actually take the gel and insert it inside you and it's a natural lubricant like KY jelly. Very beneficial, plus your body absorbs the nutrients inside the vagina so you're getting healthier overall. Very good stuff. That's for you ladies, right? So keep some gel in the refrigerator. <laughs> but it's very, very powerful, very beneficial. So I'm going to take some of this right now, not too much. Take some of this, about that much right there. Maybe a little bit less. A little bit less. And make me a, put that in my in my blender. Add that to the blender. Okay. I got the aloe vera gel. I mean I got, got I got yeah, I got the aloe vera gel, I got the prickly pear, and I got the sea moss in there right now. So now I'm gonna take a mango. Next thing I'm putting there is a mango. Now mangoes are very good also, they taste good, they're naturally sweet, but they're very high in fiber too. That's why mangoes are great. Mangoes are packed with vitamins, uh, packed with water, right? So if you, if you have an issue or a problem drinking water, for example, right? Just eat some fruit. Fruit, depending on what type of fruit you have, have as much as 98, 96, 98% of water. Like a mango has about more than 80 something, about 80%, 88% or more of water. Plus it has fiber. So now if you don't like drinking your water, right? You can eat your water. Fruit is packed with water, very packed with oxygen also, right? H2O is just oxygen. So this is packed with water. Just start eating more fruit. You'll, get, you'll, get, you'll meet your water needs. Um, plus it has fiber. It's going to keep you full, keep you regular. Very good. So the mango, you, you want to use everything, the skin and the flesh inside. So I'm going to cut this open. I won't use the whole mango. I'm going to use a piece of the mango. Just a little piece here. Let me see. Now I love mango. Mangoes are delicious. So I'm going to use probably a little bit more than this though. <laughs> Put that in there. The whole skin. Don't skin it. Put another piece in there. I love the mango man. Okay. Put that in there. And now let's go to our grapes. Right now, the grapes. What you want to have, if you can find grapes with seeds, that's great, right? Because every fruit has to have a seed. Um, now, seedless fruit becoming more and more popular in every store. Um, genetic splicing, things of that nature, or crossbreeding. And when they crossbreed, there's no seeds. But in order to grow fruit, every fruit needs to have a seed. So you're going to make sure fruits have seeds, right? So. Ah, uh, let me wash this off. I don't think I washed it off. All right, so okay, I got some of that <laughs> aloe vera skin on my hand. Oh, why does that taste bitter? 
the skin part is on my hand, it tastes a little bitter. But you want to make sure that your fruit has seeds. See? Because everything has a seed in order to reproduce itself. And the seeds, matter of fact, grapes by itself. Let me talk about grapes. Grapes are very hot, red grapes in particular, are very high in something called excuse me, raspberry resveratrol. Right? Good for like skin, uh, good for energy, uh, anti cancer, kills cancer. And the seeds are very good also. So don't don't throw the seeds away. You want to use everything on that fruit. Right? You want to put the seeds in the blender also. Or you can chew the seeds up. Like I do sometimes. Just chew the seeds right up and just swallow it. But you can put everything inside the blender. But grapes are very high, very good, very good. Lots of water, right? High in water content, very good. Also has fiber. So again, if you don't like drinking water, just eat more fruit. Eat more grapes. Eat more mangoes, right? Bananas are very low on water. Bananas, you won't eat too many of those bananas. They have a lot of fiber, but not much water. You're going to have fruits like, or melons, like watermelon or cantaloupes, blueberries, cherries, things of that nature have a lot of water. And it's good for I'm going to put the seeds in there. Grab a few grapes. Just a handful of grapes. Right? And put that in the blender. Maybe a little bit more. I like grapes. Like the grapes. And I'm getting my water in. Getting my liquid, my, my oxygen in from the fruits. Because fruits have a lot of oxygen and oxygen is number one nutrient for the body without oxygen you will not live that's the one thing that fruit has over fried chicken ribs pork chops bacon cheese dairy they have oxygen right all those other foods they have to be processed they have to be cooked when you cook the food or process the food it's pretty much devoid of oxygen if it's animal based but fruit Compact already with water and oxygen. It's fully cooked by the sun. See, you don't have to cook. You don't have to cook fruit. Fruit has already been cooked. It's been well done by the fun, by the sun naturally. You just go out and pick it and eat it, right? It's the whole process of the fruit growing, of the plant growing. That's the cooking process. That's the cooking phase, the natural cooking phase done by God, done by the natural elements. So when it comes to into full fruition, it's well done. It's already been cooked. Just go out there and reap it and eat it, right? And now you're benefiting from the water, from the oxygen, from the vitamins, from the minerals, from the nutrients, from the chlorophyll, from the live enzymes. Everything your body needs to exist and vibrantly be healthy and strong and fit. Get off medicine. Get off all those medications. Get rid of all the chronic aches and pains. Right? Drop weight like it's hot. Gain lean muscle if you're working out. And all you do is win. So I love going raw vegan because my life has been transformed as a result of me being raw. Um, I do have like some, like last night for example, I cooked some, uh, what is that, oyster mushrooms for the kids. So every now and then I will have oyster mushrooms. So if you never had oyster mushrooms, you don't, you've never had mushrooms until you had oyster mushrooms. Very, very good. But other than that, it's pretty much raw for me. Right? And my own personal testimony of going raw, vegan, is that growing up as a child, I suffered from very bad hay fever, allergies, uh, food allergies, things of that nature. For 40 years of my life, every year I had allergies, right? And when God changed my, I say God changed my diet to vegan, to raw vegan, in less than three months, not sure about the time, but less than three months, my hay fever, the hay fever I had went away. The food allergies that sent me to the hospital went away. And now those same foods that sent me to the hospital, I can now eat and enjoy without any breakouts, without any reaction. That just, that blows my mind. So it shows you the power of food that you're putting inside your body. Because food is just information, right? Food is just information that tells your body what to do. It tells your cells what to do. So when you give your body the right information or the right food, your body works the way it's supposed to work. So if you have any aches and pains or any medication, guess what? Gradually in some cases, quickly in some other cases, you get off the medication. The pain goes away. You get your life back. You're able to, to live and finally enjoy life and not think about the pain you're feeling. Right? The stiffness in your joints. 
the meds you gotta take. When's your next dose? Because now you're able to enjoy life fully. That's what God put us on the planet for. To, to enjoy ourselves here. To enjoy his planet. And everything that he put here already made prepared for us. But we have to put the right stuff inside our bodies. So I love fruit. So let me just add a few more grapes in there. Right? So now here we go. I got the grapes. I got the mango. I got the sea moss. I got the aloe vera. I got the prickly pear. Let me put a little bit of cactus in there. Just a little bit of cactus. Right? We're going really, to really do it up now. Just a little bit of cactus. A little bit of this right here. So I'm going I'm to get my knife. Where's my, okay, get my knife. I'll be very careful with this. Hold it on the end. A oh, man, you'll be picking those, picking those needles out, out your finger for, <laughs> for a while. I'm going to cut a little bit of cactus up. Cut it right, put that back over there. Cut this up right here. Alright. Just a little bit, not too much. People say, Kenneth, you put the whole thing in there? Yes, I put the whole thing in there. Needles and everything. The needles are somewhat like the leaves. Needles are like leaves to the cactus leaf. Even though this whole cactus is a leaf, the needles right there, right, you can see all the needles. Those needles are like leaves on the cactus. So I put the whole thing in the blender and blend it. No need to clean it. Make sure you have a powerful blender, right? If your blender is powerful enough, you don't have to worry about taking these needles off. You can put it in the blender, uh, and it blends up perfectly, and drink it, no issues. Okay, but now I'm going to show you the inside. This right here, right? And cactus has a peculiar smell, has a different smell. But the benefits of this is astronomical, like I shared earlier. Cactus is very, very powerful. Um, I'm going to tell you, when I ran across cactus... Right, I've been talking about prickly pear for quite some time. The fruit, again, this right here, quite some time. But when I started investigating and researching cactus, I said, oh my God. I realized that cactus, aloe vera, prickly pear are three of the most powerful plants on the planet. Three of the most powerful plants that grow on the planet, on the surface of the planet. And then sea moss, right? It's one of the most powerful plants that grows in the ocean, in the water. Of course, you have bladder rat, right? Of course, you have uh, 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 blue, blue green algae or spirulina or chlorella. These are all other foods that grow in the water also. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But cactus is a super plant. Antiviral, anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, antibacterial, anti-tumor, anti-fungus antioxidant, you name it across the board, it's anti-everything. That's why scientists have been studying cactus for quite some time now, and they see the benefits. Antiviral, right? It keeps HIV cells, the HIV virus, from replicating itself. HIV, from rep it stops HIV from growing in a person's body, right? Uh, it stops herpes from growing inside a person's body. We've used this when people have COVID. It stops the COVID virus from going inside a person's body. But you don't hear about that because there's no money in cactus. But this is a very, very powerful plant. I'm not going to say too much about that. Big Brother's always listening. So right now, let me take this, get my fork out of there. And I'm going to add the cactus right here that I have, picking up the fork, inside the smoothie, inside the blender. Now, that's pretty much everything I have. I've got the cactus, I've got the grapes, got the mango, got the prickly pear, got the sea moss, and got the aloe vera. So now what I'm going to do next is something a little bit different. Now, most people, when they make a smoothie, right? Most people, when they make smoothies, they use, like, uh, smoothies, not shakes. There's a difference in, between a shake and a smoothie. And again, for those who like to have smoothies, want to have smoothies, click the link on, my, on this presentation right now. Get my smoothie book. I'm telling you, these are 20 of the best smoothies that I have ever made in, over the years, over the last probably probably 14, 15 years. Now, this, this has been a work in progress from trial and error, from testing, testing, testing. These are the top 20 smoothies I've made over, over, the, course of my, over the course of my training, personal training career. And they're very effective. People drop 30 pounds and more. This is without, without any exercise at all. 10 to 15 pounds, 10 to 30 pounds in 30 days just by making a few modifications, adding the smoothie 
Um, even doing it wrong. I had one lady, uh, I don't know if she's on, I had one lady, she did it wrong. Didn't follow my directions. I told her to drink it twice a day. She drank it once a day. She still dropped 10 pounds in 30 days. Her husband dropped 14 pounds. Now, he, I think he did it twice. But anyway, very, very powerful. So now, what I normally do is, I don't use almond milk. I don't use uh, any type of plant-based milks. Even though those, those things are great. But I like keeping it as pure as I possibly can. So right now, what I do here, right, I take the water from the gelled up water from the sea moss, right? Because sea moss, when we let it soak for a while, you know, some of those nutrients get into the water. You don't want to, you, you want to use every single thing. So the water is packed with nutrition from the sea moss. So when I let the sea moss soak, I take the water, right, and I pour it into the blender. A little bit more. I think that's enough. And I make, that's how I use to make my smoothie. So, I keep it as natural as possible. Now, you can use coconut water, right? Coconut water uh, is very, very good. Very hydrates you very, a lot faster than regular water. Plus, it's packed with a lot of nutrients also. Um, but I like using the sea moss water. If I don't have coconut water, I use the sea moss water. The water from the sea moss or the coconut water. I don't use almond milk. Don't use soy milk. Don't use uh, oat milk or cashew milk or all those other milks or hemp milk. Things of that nature. But hemp milk is very good also. So, now, oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot the most important ingredient. Most important ingredient. Cayenne pepper. Oh my God, I got to re-up. I'm almost out. <laughs> cayenne pepper, ladies and gentlemen. Let me talk about this for a second. This is probably the most powerful herb you will ever get. Let me say that one more time. Cayenne pepper is known as a super herb. Now this is this is organic pepper and cayenne pepper in the powder form, but cayenne pepper is so so good for so many things across the board. If you want to burn calories, right? It's good for burning body fat. It's good for killing uh, toothaches. It's good for increasing circulation. It stops migraines in its tracks. But the way you take it is a little bit different. If you have a migraine, right, for those of, who you, of you who are brave, I've actually had a client who actually do, did this, you take some cayenne pepper, just a little pinch, right, and you put it up one nostril and put up the other nostril, and in seconds, the migraine goes away. Why? Of course, for a few seconds, initially, it may feel like a burning sensation, but that quickly goes away. Because if you've had a migraine, the migraine is a lot more painful than the burn will ever be. So what it does, it increases the circulation and the migraine disappears. I actually had somebody do that years ago. She said she had migraine. I said, hey, get some cayenne pepper. Snort it up the nostrils. It sounded crazy. She did it. Migraine was gone. It's also known to stop heart attacks, um, stop heart attacks in its tracks. Right? Because it increases the circulation. It makes you feel hot so the heart beats faster. If you have a cut, right? You have a cut. You don't have any band-aids available. Take a little, take a little uh, cayenne pepper, make a paste from water, and put on the cut. And the, uh, the cayenne pepper, it stabilizes the blood pressure. It stabilizes the blood pressure throughout the whole entire body. Right? It doesn't burn, and it stops the bleed. It's like a natural band-aid. That's just one of many benefits of cayenne pepper. Very, very good. I suggest if you don't have this, if you don't have this in your house... Start stocking up on the cayenne pepper. This is the, probably the most, if you ask any herbalist, they'll say that cayenne pepper is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful herb you can get. Very simple to use, but it's a super herb. So now what I do is I add some cayenne pepper. I want you to see I'm actually pouring this in there. Oh, I can't see it, Kenneth. Right? Cayenne pepper inside there. Now, I do a lot of cayenne pepper. I've been doing cayenne pepper now since 2007. So, what's that? 17, 18, 19? For 14 years straight, I've been doing cayenne pepper. I, I always talk about cayenne pepper. I love cayenne pepper. It's on everything that I do. Always in my smoothies, right? I do it in my sea moss also. I sprinkle it on, on everything I eat. Cayenne pepper. Because it is a super herb with powerful, powerful medicinal benefits. Alright, so now, here we go. 
Now we got everything in there, the cayenne pepper, the grapes, the mango, the prickly pear, the aloe vera, the cactus plant, what else, the sea moss gel. So now I'm gonna put this on. Now, what color do you think is gonna turn out? Here's a quiz. Out of everything I put in there, I put the grapes, I put the mango, the prickly pear, the sea moss, the cactus and aloe vera. What color do you think is gonna turn out? Well, let's see. I'm gonna get pretty loud for a second. Let me get my glass. Get my glass over here. Wash my glass out. So excuse the noise for one second. About to turn the blender on. Here's the thing, because I added cactus to that, I blended at least three times because I want to make sure those 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 uh <laughs> those pricklies, those prickly needles are well crushed up. Because you want to drink drink the needles down, you have some major issues inside your body. So I always blend it at least three times to make sure those needles are finely crushed and liquefied so I can drink it. So let me do it again. time and we're good. guess that it would come out looking red voila you're right it's red so we can turn the light over here you can see it better well, but it comes out looking red so that is the prickly pear aloe vera cactus mango red grapes look at that I'm gonna give you a close-up in a second but that's the richness of that's what it looks like. Do a little close up. Look at that. That's what it looks like right there. So that's the combination. Inside you have all types of good stuff. All types of healthy nutrition. Uh, very delicious, very nutritious. Antiviral, antifungal, anti-cancer, uh, anti-diabetic. Uh, anti-obese, right? Helps to uh, uh, fight against obesity. Um, everything. 92 plus minerals. Uh, nine, uh, so 10 vitamins. Live enzymes. Um, packed with oxygen. Water. Everything your body needs right there. Right? So this is a condensed nutrition. Rather than you cooking a, a six course of seven course meal, you got all the stuff you need in an active combination in one smoothie that will keep you full for four to five hours. Naturally drop four pounds or more overnight. That's how powerful this stuff is. Very delicious, very nutritious, and it works. So there you have it right there. You can find that right there in my book, right? In my smoothie book, right? The link is in, the link, the website is right here on this live presentation. I'm telling you, this is what I do. People say, Kenneth, what do you do? What, no. How do you make your smoothie? Well, now you know one of the ways that I make my smoothies. This is a smoothie. I'm going to drink it. Mm, mm, mm. 
Now, the way that this tastes, you can taste the aloe vera, you can taste um, the mango, you can taste the prickly pear, you can definitely taste the cayenne pepper. <laughs> got a little kick in there, got a little kick, that kick makes you jump. But it's very nutritious, very energetic, um, and it's healthy for you, right? This one, little, this one little glass here would keep me full for like maybe four, about four or five hours. And it's going to add to my energy levels. It's going to help keep me regular, go to the bathroom on a regular basis. It's going to cleanse and detox me. Uh, it's going to deodorize my intestines, my colon, so I go to the bathroom. Nobody knows I've been in the bathroom, did number two. Uh, it's going to beautify my skin. It's going to keep me, uh, de help relieve stress also. Very, very, protect my nervous system because of the cactus in there. Everything I need, antiviral protection, right? I can walk around outside. See, we, we don't worry about um, coming in contact. We, we, we come into contact with a lot of people because we run a business, right? We own an LLC. And we come in contact with a lot of people who are asking for our help. People who have gotten COVID. The children got COVID. The whole family got COVID. Right, people who are on tons of medication, people who have chronic aches and pains. We come in daily contact with people every single day, and guess what? Before we leave this house, we gear up. We gear up with everything we need: our sea moss, our Nutriburst, our uh, cayenne pepper, uh, some garlic. Everything we need, we gear up. We give it to our children also, so our children are not affected also. And we do that because we care about ourselves. See, part of loving yourself is taking care of your health. Doing the things you might not want to do. But while you're doing that, you're making a proper or a great investment in you. To show yourself that you really love you, you got to invest in good food. Invest in, in great things. Do a little bit of exercise. Right? I, know, I know some of you don't like the exercise because it hurts that soreness. Oh my God, this thing hurts like heck. But movement keeps the body healthy and strong. You move to boost your metabolism. Let me share this with you. Right? For people who have COVID, right? The last, some of the things that, if you've had COVID before, right? One of the things you hear about, uh, it drains the energy. It's very painful to move. It feels like, feels like one step is like taking a mile. But in order for your metabolism, I want you to hear this. In order for your metabolism, uh, I'm sorry, not your metabolism. In order for your immune system, right? To kick in, to fight, you have to move your body. When you move... You force, your metabolism, you force your immune system to activate. So, you feel like laying down, right? That's how COVID kills you. You got to force your body to move. Take a step, but just keep stepping. Keep moving, because as you move, you force your immune system to activate. This activates your immune system. This gives you the basis you need to protect yourself against viral infections. It's backed by science. This is all backed by science. This is not stuff we just put together and say, oh, take this, it's good for this. This is proven by our own scientists in the United States. The power of cactus, the power of sea moss, the power of prickly pear. It's called nopal cactus, right? You do a Google search, you're going to see that the benefits of this against Alzheimer's disease, how it's, how it's been proven, against Parkinson's disease, how it's been proven. Right? About uh, against its anti cancer. How cactus is just as powerful as chemotherapy. Cactus is just as powerful as chemotherapy, proven by science, without the negative side effects. So, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, this is the stuff I'm talking about. This is what we share with you every single day. So, we care about you, we want you to win. And to keep it very, very simple, right? The best thing you can do for your health is invest in it. Everything I share with you. You're going to find a combination of this inside my book that I'm, I'm sharing with you right now. Normally, you, you can ask my past customers, past clients, normally one smoothie costs $20, right? And you do it for 30 days. Now, in this book, you get 20 smoothies, 20 of my best smoothies. 20, one is called Gamma Green. Those who know about the Gamma Green know the powers of Gamma Green smoothie, right? That was a $20 smoothie. Now, in this book, you get 20 smoothies. Gamma green included, right? Pineapple, pineapple, kale uh, included, pineapple, kale, blueberry smoothie included, all in that one book for $32. Believe me, sea moss gel combinations, raw sea moss combinations, uh, hops, 
and um, barley, non-alcohol combinations. Everything is inside the book. You get the book, you pick the one you want to use. But here's, here's a word of, word of advice. Whichever one you choose, do that for 30 days. Don't mix it up. Because your body's going to need time. It's going to take time to adapt to it. It's going to get used to doing one smoothie. If you mix it up, right, it won't get the full adaptation. So do one smoothie. Pick the one you, you, you want to start with. Do that for 30 days. Or do it this way. Do one in the morning. If you're going to have it twice a day, do one smoothie for breakfast. Have a different smoothie for dinner. And just follow that route, right? But do it for 30 days. I guarantee your life will never be the same. I guarantee you, you're going to drop weight. I guarantee you, your skin is going to change. I guarantee you, your taste buds are going to change. I guarantee you, you're going to be coming off of some medication. Just from doing smoothies. Natural smoothies. We got green smoothies in there. We got fruit smoothies in there. We got combination sea moss gel smoothies in there. We got uh, non-alcoholic beer smoothies in there also. Something for everybody. And you pick it, all you do is win. So, I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'm going to enjoy my smoothie. For more information... Comment below on this presentation when I'm, when I'm done or inbox me or order from the website right now. Get the book. It's quick. It's a digital download. Get the book. See it for yourself. People have already ordered the book. They're excited about it and they're using it. They got, a, they got 20 smoothies they can choose from. <laughs> 20 great smoothies all made by me, right? Uh, used with my personal training clients, my virtual training clients before in the past, some of my customers, but they work. So, thank you for watching. Comment below. Hit me up. Here's to you. Mm. That smoothie? <laughs> Talk to you later.